Welcome to Where There's a Wills, There's a Play. My name's Ian, and today we're rolling through the realms of Micro Dojo. Let's take a look at the realm. In Micro Dojo, you use a number to gain the benefit. So you'll notice every one of these dice numbers have a benefit under them. Okay. If possible, also mark a number matching the other rolled die without gaining the benefit. That other rolled die still remains available for another realm. When using a created number, you get to choose either of the rolled die to mark your second number. You can activate this realm even if you can't mark a second one. So let's say I had all my ones marked off already and I used a four to mark something and I rolled a four and a one. I can still mark off a four. I just can't, I just would not mark off that second dice. So you can activate this even if you can't mark off that second dice. The way you score, you score one star for each of the first completed row and completed square and column. So the first time you complete a row or complete a column, you get to get a star. That means all numbers are marked. So all six numbers in a row or column. And you score one star if all numbers in the grid are marked. Okay. Um, we have 18 dice on here. I have nine rolls. I get to mark 18 numbers. Maybe I can get all of them. Um, normally in a regular game, I do not get all of them. But let's get rolling and see what we got here. <clears throat> Snake eyes. And we'll see if my markers also last long enough. I've got all of my markers. Well, all the ones that still, I think, are working a little bit. So I need to mark a one, and I need to, I need to gain a benefit on one of them, and I need to mark a second one. So, and I know this is blurry. I will pick this up to show you what I'm doing. Um, Sorry, I don't have the best technology as those of you who have been following along. <clears throat> no, maybe one day I'll upgrade to the streaming, the higher quality streaming. Right now, unfortunately, I do not. But I think this still works. So I need to mark a one to gain the benefit. Um, so I can get a coin, a heart, or a pumpkin. Heart is not going to do me a whole lot right now. Because I'm not, so I'm going to gain the pumpkin down here. And see, just by having the marker cap off, that is. And then I'm going to mark off this one. I might want that coin later. We'll see if I can get my markers to, to stay for this tutorial. Two and a six. Ooh, there's a little bit better marker. Maybe I can just go back and forth on them. So I got a two and a six. So I got a two, a two, and a two. So I get one of each. A six. Ooh. Six is on a heart and a star. Well, I definitely don't want to lose that star. So, oh, and a pumpkin. So it's a heart, a star, and a pumpkin. I would not mind getting this pumpkin. So I'm going to get this pumpkin. I don't want to lose that. I'm going to keep this six here for, um, oh, wait a minute. I'm marking off a two. So I want the pumpkin, and I'm going to mark off a two. I'm going to mark off this heart again. Oh, yeah, yeah, my markers. My markers are not doing well. I wanted that pumpkin so that I can manipulate dice if need be. Next roll, a two and a three. So I can get a coin. I can get a coin, a heart, or a pumpkin. I think at this point... I'm kind of working this, I'm working this column here. So I think I'm going to get a pumpkin with the, no, I'm going to get a coin with the two. I might need a coin later. And I'm going to give up this pumpkin. So now I've got this column almost done. Three and a five. <clears throat> okay. Well, I could do the same thing here since I'm kind of working this row. This is marked off. Or I could do the same thing here. I'm going to get this five. I'm going to get this star on this five here so that I don't mess that up. And I'm going to mark off this three because this row is working pretty well. So a two and a five. Okay. So five, a two.
Let me get myself. Oh, I've got a heart. I, I'm not going to worry about hearts in this round. So I am going to get myself another coin. Yeah, the coins are going to be. I'm not sure the coins are going to be needed. I'm going to get myself another pumpkin just for manipulation reasons. And then I'm going to cross off this heart. <clears throat> I don't know if this is how I would normally play this. I would probably try and go for some other things, but with nine pulls, I think we're going to just kind of play this a little differently just for the tutorial. So a five and a five. Okay, so here's one of those instances where I don't have two fives. So I could get this coin and I wouldn't have to mark something else off. I don't think that'd be the smartest move because that would leave me needing to from getting everything, which I guess I don't need to get everything, but I'm going to use this coin to mark this one. Markers, please last. And then I get a coin back. So I get that coin right back. And then I'm going to mark this five. All right, so now I'm looking for six, four, <clears throat> let's see, a pair of twos, just what I did not want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to manipulate one of these dice <clears throat> into a three, get the mark off that, so I get a coin. I have now completed... It's hard to see because my markers are dying. I've now completed this top row. That gives me a star. So I'm looking for a six and a four. Come on. There we go. A four. So I'm going to use that four down here, which gives me another star. I think um, right now it's going to be kind of hard to get those it's going to be really hard to get those uh, other stars. I need a six. Three and a five. Did not need a three or a five. So three and a five. Can't use either of them. Can't manipulate them. That's the end of my round. So I got one star from this five. Probably should have taken some stars here earlier. I got one star. Oh, you know what? I got an extra star here. <clears throat> I got one star from this four. I got one star from this five. I got one star from this row and one star from this column. I could not fill the whole grid. I'm not sure I ever have filled the whole grid um, to get those last two, to get that last star. And I was able, unable to get that six. So there was Micro Dojo. If you like this tutorial, please hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or comments on this realm, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll do my best to answer any questions you still have. If you like this video and want to see more of them, please hit that subscribe button up above and you can see when our videos are posted. If you want to see the rest of the Rolling Through the Realms tutorials, please hit that link up above and it will take you to all of my tutorials for the Rolling Realms realms. Once again, this has been Where There's a Wills, There's a Play. My name's Ian and I'll see you next time at the table.